Welcome back, heroes and villains, and this is a new installment of Living Dead Wednesday. And this is going to be a shorter one. We're only going to cover one Living Dead thing in the news today. Uh, I had a long day at work. This is going to be posted extremely late for a Wednesday. And I uh, just did some set building. So uh, we're going to keep this brief. I wish I could give you some more content and a little bit earlier on a Wednesday. But, you know, I'm doing this by myself. I don't have a crew to help me crank these out or edit these. It's all me and you. So I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching these because otherwise I'm just a dick talking to a camera. Uh, I'm still doing that. I'm a little ill. And so this is the tea and this is the Living Dead Wednesday. On with the show. Did we lose them? Yeah. Well, we're not in the clear, right? Not while we're in this city. Uh, you may have seen already a bit of the buzz of this on YouTube and on the web. Um, I know I've been really geeked for this particular uh, game for the PS3. It's called The Last of Us, or just Last of Us. Um, it takes place in a dystopic future. Uh, it has elements of, I believe, uh, 28 Days Later kind of, you know, infected. They're not exactly zombies, so I'm brushing in line with this. But uh, more elements I find of Children of Men, uh, that movie that I love so dearly, it's a good one. Uh, it has a lot of elements to that where you really have to beware of people uh, and gangs and stuff and raiders more so than monsters. Oh, Wait. How many is that now? Mm. Five just this week. Should we call around? Hey, I'm not complaining. I bet you not. We done here? We got on the floor to check, man. Check for what? I ain't seen a clicker in weeks. That's because we're thorough. We're gonna keep being thorough. Come on this way. Wrap this up, right? Through you're trying to track through the city um, and get this young girl uh, out, I guess. I'm not sure what the whole mission is yet, but you know, you can probably piece it together by all the trailers and bonus content and a few little snippets of the game that's out. Uh, but it's really cool execution and very, you know, beautifully crafted, of course, as video games are these days. But what I find most interesting is that. Uh, it's not just so cut and dry as some video games are. You're, you're not clearly the anti-hero. You're not clearly the savior of humanity at all. Uh, you're just trying to survive. You're scrounging. You're, you're getting supplies what you need on the run. And you have to, and you have to make life and death decisions constantly throughout the game, it seems. You have to choose whether to engage in combat or sneak past. And, and you have to limit your ammo and and look through your backpack and your inventory. It's really interesting. I really, you know, Matt, I'm going to steal your PlayStation for a month and just play this. Uh, I promise. Uh, no, but it's got me really interested. It comes out uh, May 7th, I think, is the tentative date. Or no, maybe it's the confirmed date now uh, for the U.S. So you can definitely see me playing that later. And for right now, that's it. Like I said, i got to keep this down to just one thing this week. And I'll see you again next week, Intrepid Heroes. You stay strong and get some sleep. Okay. Now what? Get your ass up. Take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, fuck. Let him go. You fucking drop him. Oh, shit. Come here. Shit. 
I know that sound. I got you now, motherfucker. Hey, asshole! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, good job with all the, uh, you know, killing and stuff. <laughs>